I love Yonex rackets and you should too, but which one is the best? Stay tuned and I'll take you through my top five. Yonex rackets are probably the finest in the world. Their quality control is second to none with their specs all very, very close together. So you can buy a racket in Australia and a racket in the UK and a racket in America from Yonex and you will know that they are within two grams in spec and almost dead on. Such is their quality control. They are the only brand that has their own factory manufacturing all of their rackets themselves, which means they can keep that quality control right on point and their rackets play beautifully. You've got three main ranges, V-Core, the E-Zone, and the Percept, and they all do things slightly different, and they all play beautifully. But, let's stop wasting time and get into my top five Yonex rackets. Before getting stuck into my top five Yonex racket, there is an obvious but vital honorable mention. That is, of course, the Yonex Regna 98. Now, this racket is basically perfect, as far as I'm concerned, but, I'm not putting it in my top five, it doesn't seem fair. It doesn't even feature on Yonex's website, so it's not really part of the whole range. It is just a unicorn, possibly the best racket ever made. Uh, it doesn't make my top five because of that rarity, because you won't be able to get it, and so it doesn't really seem fair. Okay, on with the top five. In at number five, and surprisingly in at number five in a sense, because this is the racket that we choose to use when we're testing strings. It's a racket that we all agree on at PH Tennis is probably best suited to everyone. It is the V-Core 100. This is in its sand beige livery, um, more sort of white and gold if you ask me, which looks very nice. It also comes in the scarlet red. Um, the Vico 100 is a terrific all-rounder and while it is in marketed as the spin racket for Yonex, it plays like an all-rounder. Great ball pocketing, 16 by 19 pattern means that, that with the 100 square inch head you get loads and loads of power, loads of spin. You do sacrifice a little bit of control, but this racket is absolutely brilliant and I would honestly recommend it to anyone. Fantastic, in at number five, the Vico 100. In at number four. So we've gone from a racket that I'd recommend to almost everyone, to a racket that I would recommend to very few, because it is a heavy, heavy boy. That is the Percept 97H. It is the heaviest of the Percepts at a whopping 330 grams, about as heavy as a commercial racket can be. But the beauty of the Percept 97H is that it doesn't play that heavy. Because it's so flexible, because it's so maneuverable, and that goes for the whole Percept range, it doesn't feel as heavy. It's much more playable and much more forgiving. If you think of something in the same sort of uh, weight bracket like the um, Pro Staff RF, very difficult to use, very um, unforgiving, difficult on off-center contacts. The Percept is so brilliant because it doesn't do that. It is forgiving, it is easy to use, which is remarkable uh, in such a heavy frame. What you do get, obviously, with the extra weight is that, is that extra mass, the extra plow through. So if you're able to get this racket moving, you get absolutely massive power off it with the control that the Percept is uh, supposed to offer, which it does offer. So in at number four, the Percept 97H. H for heavy, I assume. In at number three in my top five Yonex rackets, and it's the V-Core once again, Scarlet Red this time, and the 98. So while still a 1619 pattern, the smaller head size means that you get some of the control back. So more power and spin with the 100, more control in the 98, and that's why I love it. The ball pocketing, or dwell time if you will, is absolutely second to none in the Vico 98. It is truly beautiful out the middle. It is probably slightly more difficult to use than the 100, and probably not recommended for everyone, but not far off it. For a 98 square inch frame, you get some of everything. You get plenty of power, you get plenty of spin as it's their spin racket. You get loads of control through that pocketing. The feel from that pocketing is absolutely phenomenal and you're able to just guide that ball, or it almost feels like you're catching on strings, flinging it back where you want it to go. The Vcore 98 is absolutely tremendous and that's why it's my number three Yonex racket. In at number two, and the observant amongst you would be thinking, hang on, he hasn't had an E-Zone yet. Well, 
there are E-Zones coming. And the first one in is the Yonex E-Zone 98. For a power racket, it gives you so much more. When we think about power rackets like pure drives and things like that, it's all out power with not much else going on. The E-Zone, again, probably because of Yonex's terrific manufacturing quality, offers you so much more. You're getting loads of spin because it's a 16 by 19 pattern. You're getting loads of stability because that stiffness that you'd expect from a power frame, but you're also getting loads more control. So uh, brands often say, oh, it's power and control. And most of the time it's not true. With the E-Zone 98 especially, you do get that control. It's a power racket with control that can get plenty of spin. It's a wonder it's not my number one, but it's not because they do one better than that. In at number one in my top Yonex rackets, it is my racket. It is the finest racket in the world. It is the Yonex E-Zone 98 Tor. So what you get with the Tor as opposed to the 98 is you get a little bit more weight and that weight shifts down towards the handle, giving you more stability. So while the 98 offers you some control with your power, this gives you even more. So this heads much towards a sort of uh, sort of pro's choice, not that I'm one of those, but a pro's choice racket. Very stable, lots and lots of control, but still with that pop that you get from an E-Zone with all of the spin benefits of that 16 by 19 pattern. I played with the 98 for a long time and switched after much deliberation to the heavier 98 Tor, and it's absolutely perfect for my game. Great for volleying because that stability, fantastic for return of serves. I haven't found another racket that it makes it as easy to return big serves as the 98 Tor. It is perfect for me and I love it. The Yonex E-Zone 98 Tor, my number one Yonex racket. The finest tennis racket manufacturer in the world is Yonex to my mind, and these are my top five. Obviously, feel free to disagree, and I'm sure you will. I look forward to hearing from you. But these are my top five, and hopefully I've helped you choose your next Yonex racket. As always, don't forget to follow, share, subscribe, all of that stuff, so you never miss a thing from Yonex, uh, PH Tennis.